So right now we're looking at the Rocky Mountains Landers Peak by Albert Bierstadt, painted in 1863 and is now located at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So uh, just a little background on the artist. Albert Bierstadt was a German-born painter who um, came to the United States with his parents and eventually went on a, a survey expedition for the United States government in the mid-19th century. So he was in America when he painted this landscape. So in this painting we're looking at a uh, landscape of the Rocky Mountains in uh, Wyoming. It's specifically of Landers Peak and it's quite magnificent. Very beautiful. It, ma it puts nature, makes nature look very, very glorious and grand and almost sublime even. Overwhelming of the senses. Yes, uh, you can see in the background Landers Peak Peak, uh, a, you know, magnificent mountain. Yeah, it just, it stands above this little village below of these Native Americans. And even though at first glance you almost don't see it because of its just stark yeah, contrast in white. it sort of just blends into that atmosphere. But once haze. you, once you, you see it, it, you realize that it's soaring above everything. everything. It's... So just below the this uh, mountain, mountain the waterfall, and it's uh, pouring into this little like glacial lake. Type. It's perfectly reflecting the surroundings above it. And the beauty of nature. It's you could even say it's pastoral. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's perfect in every way. And it's almost very perfect, but as it turns out, it didn't actually look like this. This is more of an idealized view. So we have the people of the tribe down below, and they're they just killed a bear. And they're living amongst nature, it's very natural and flowing. And uh, unlike us city dwellers, they've learned how to live peacefully and harmoniously with nature. And this is my favorite little detail. There's like a little animal in a burrow in the bottom corner. If you look closely, you can see it. And I guess you could just say this just goes to show the amount of detail that uh, Bierstad went into putting into this painting and how much he wanted to realize just how large he to nature, make nature is look just absolutely irresistibly gorgeous and he wanted you to make he wanted to make you feel nature and make I, you really understand the power and the supreme i think he's done this very effectively power with the clouds they're very soft and the blue at the top of the painting it's very bright and rich but it like turns more pale as it goes down and unlike the uh <clears throat> the dutch uh, landscape painters these, um, you feel something. It's very strong feeling. Yeah, they just want you to appreciate it. This is more of a, a feeling, a power. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue. 